Hello, in this lesson we're going to order decimal numbers using place value. So we begin with the numbers in this green box. We have 0 0.25, which is 0 units, 2 tenths and 5 hundredths. We can align them all with the decimal point, which goes between the units and the tenths. And then we have 0 0.17. Again, zero units, one tenth, seven hundredths. Zero point three four. Zero units, three tenths and four hundredths. Zero point two two and zero point four. Zero point two two and zero point four. And finally, zero point four nine. So to find out which is the smallest, it is the lowest value in the tenths column because in the units column they're all the same value, they're all zero. And you can see the lowest value is the one. So the smallest number is 0.17. So we can cross that one off, off the list. And then we have 0.22 and 0.25. Because these numbers in the tenth column are the same, we move to the next column, which is the hundredths, and you can see two is smaller than five, so we have 0 0.22 and then 0 0.25. So we can cross these two off the list, and then you can see the three is smaller than the four, so 0 0.34. And we have no number in the hundredth column here. So we have a zero as a placeholder, and you can see that the zero is smaller than the nine. So we have 0 0.40 and then 0 0.49. So these are the numbers arranged in ascending order. Okay, let's try the numbers in the next box. We have 1.55 and 1.63. So one unit, five tenths and five hundredths and then one unit, six tenths and three hundredths. We have 1.36 and 1.69. So one unit, three tenths and six hundredths. One unit, six tenths and nine hundredths. And 1.53 and 1.64, sorry, 1.65. So 1.53 and 1.65. So in ascending order, which is the smallest number first, the units all begin with one. So we move over to the next column and the three is the smallest value here. So it is 1.36. And then the five and the five are the same in the tenths. So we move to the next column and the three is smaller than the five. So 1.53 and then 1.55. And then you can see that we have a 6, 3, 6, 9 and a 6, 5. All have a 6 in the tenths, but a 3 here in the hundredths. So that is the next smallest, 1.63. And then 1.65. And finally, 1.69. Okay, let's move on to some questions and you can try. Okay, do you want to try and arrange these numbers? In this box, in ascending order, using a place value table, you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we have 3 3.02, 3.24, 3.42, 3.4, 3.4, 3.26, and 3.22. So you can see the smallest tenths is zero because they all have three units. So the smallest number is 3.02. And then these numbers have the same two in the tenths. So we move to the next column. And you can see the two hundredths is less than four hundredths. So 3.22. 
and then 3.24. and then 3.26. And again, we can have a zero in, as a placeholder in the hundreds. So we have 3.4 and then 3.42. Okay, finally, do you want to try the numbers in this box? I paused in the video and you can resume that when you're ready. So we'll put the numbers into the place value table. 1.002, 0 0.17, 0 0.09, 1.20, 1.14, and 1.02. We have two zeros in the units here and here. You can see in the hundreds, this is zero, which is less than one. So the smallest value is 0 0.09 and then 0 0.17 and then we have the same one unit in these two and again they have the same unit in the decimal in the tenths column which is zero but in the hundredths we have a zero which is less than a two so 1.0 zero two and then one point zero two and finally we can see the one in the tenths is less than the two so one point one four and then one point two zero okay i hope you found that useful thank you very much for watching and take care